What's up, Smoocher guys? <laughs> he did comment on our last video. Oh, he's watching and learning. He's watching and learning. We hope that on his educational journey, we provide. I hope he's learning at least as much as you. And he might be older than us, so we don't even know. <laughs> We don't know anything about him except he. Except he's a spooky mask. And he makes like some videos. He does make some like videos. Yeah, I skimmed it. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't watch the whole thing. Ooh! You got in a little door. I know, I got into an S cave. Nice. A hideout S nice. cave. This is still weird. I wish we could hear some of the music. We should bring headphones or something. Um, we could. Like a one earpiece. Man, this setup's gonna get too much for oh, it to we be got, portable. Like, there's gonna be so many wires. This is already, we have to come here and set this up and it's already a hassle. If we add more wires to it. It's too many wires. Or if the airplay would work. Um, airplay would be nice. I should not make a smacking sound. <laughs> people <laughs> people love say, people that's eating <laughs> that's gonna be really when they're nice recording. Touch the little yep. lips and back. I'm going to see the spikes in the audio too. It's like, <laughs> people smack, love that. Smack. I remember the first time I ever played um, an online game with people with mic with a mic. Like first uh, time I ever did the it. worst. No, because I didn't know that Steam like auto mics you. You know, it's just yeah. on. It senses. And so I was eating bowl of cereal, just like <laughs> <laughs> smack, smack, mush, yep. mush. <laughs> and I was just sitting in the waiting room, waiting for the people to join or whatever. <laughs> and I had no idea that I was being mic'd, and I was you're just like that slurping away. You're like that rage comic with the cup of cereal. <laughs> and somebody asked me if I was eating a bowl of dicks. <laughs> Classic. And I was like, I was so embarrassed. Like, no. <laughs> like I just this sense, this cold sense of dread, like crept up my spine. Like, oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I'm so embarrassed by the cereal. <laughs> I almost just left the room without responding. Just quit. <laughs> was it like totally nonchalant? Like, what are you doing, eating a bowl of dicks? <laughs> he just, he just, he didn't even say it. He just typed, typed it. it. <laughs> typed it. Emil, are you eating a bowl of dicks? Oh. You gave the first part oh, of no. your Steam name. <laughs> yeah, my name is uh, Emil on Steam. I won't tell you the rest. You find it. Oh, you're probably the only Emil. <laughs> the hordes of people are going to come beating down my Our friendship door. Our fans can't know that. <laughs> Ooh, did the heat just turn on or something? I'm getting this warm... Yes. <laughs> yes this the warm, warm draft. Viewers, are you getting a warm draft? <laughs> well, if you weren't... Hopefully Matt will smack I'll his lips. I'll edit in a warm draft. <laughs> He'll smack his lips again. And then <laughs> You'll feel too, too, too hot and bothered by my <laughs> smacking lips. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, mm. I should give a little history, or not history, you but know, you like, got, you got explanation for what I'm doing. You gotta give a little, get a little. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's a very insightful <laughs> comment. What are you doing? Well, I was gonna explain. Oh, you're right. That's what you just said. Yeah. You're, right. you're right. So, what I'm doing right now is, since the last time we played, I didn't win the election, but... I um, was down at Potash, mm -hmm. so I have to get back up to Incubator to do it again because I'm an idiot and saved it. Um, so that's what I'm doing. But I'm not using a compass bug because I'm trying to learn the route. That's not a bad idea, and you're not doing too bad. So this is kind of me being exploratory. So it's not that important that we're I'm talking directly over it. It's me doing the same thing I've been doing for. Like, yeah, and the the thing is, and I got into another hideout. Just remember, go up. Mm -hmm. Just go up, and you're, just, you're almost there. Yeah, you're and I good. got a thing in this thing. Is it the thing? Oh, is that thing? Yep. There's another thing on the right-hand side. See it? It's kind of moving. Oh, I didn't see it. So yeah. I didn't get it. Those ends, the left and right ends of those are kind of doors. You can open and close them. Okay. I don't, I don't think you... So you can get in that one without going in that opening you went through. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> but so I'm not now, sure if that would count now for I'm, you. I'm giving... I need a little help. Except I can select the wrong compass book. Yeah, <laughs> are you gonna go back to potting? No, I'm not. I guess <coughs> I do. I select it again. Well, Matt, you have to give a little help to get a little help. Again. That's a callback. Always insightful. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're almost there. Nine away. Yeah, I was closer than I thought. Yeah, you're right at that bridge. You always nine like, insist upon going down. Nine units of measure away. Yeah, I don't really know what they measure that in. Nine car bangers. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Banger units. Maybe you're a, a ninth away. We should get rid of metric system. Get rid of the imperial system. Beeps. Beeps. <laughs> beep lengths. Everything will be based on the length of a beep. Oh, so did you get that scanner? I oh, know, I didn't bring it home with me. Uh, but I told you to. I, I know. You and I couldn't, though. Oh. So next weekend. Shame. For family reasons of my mom needed to use it still. We're going to post a scan of the map of Fostral that comes with the... Um, 
box game. Although I retweeted the picture of someone's who took a picture of the box with the manual and the map next yep. to it, so you can see how long and skinny the map is, but you can't so see So what I really want to do is, if I get saucy, um, because it's a donut map. Oh, you're going to do it? You're I'm going to do, do an interactive 3D donut oh that you can use. Dude. Especially because I've been messing with Unity. And so you're going to host that on like, some little website people can go to and check it out? Yeah, I can, I can host it on my website. Oh my gosh. KillerTofu.com. Like the sweetest thing. This show brought to you by KillerTofu.com. Killer Tofu. It's from Doug. It's from Doug. <laughs> I might do something with that in post. <laughs> like, like, whoosh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's from Doug. That's the tagline. <laughs> it is from Doug, though. But I did like it, and I adopted it as my personal site. And I even explained in the last post how I went about getting that. Mm -hmm. And in the, oh, your last post on the on my blog. Because blog, yeah. Yeah. we also have another project where we write things. We do. On our blogs. We do. We I are also full of projects. Um, yep. yep, yep Alright, so I'm saving it because I'm at the time to time time. This like, this this warm draft <laughs> is... Viewers, do you feel it yet? You know, I, you feel it coming at on? first I was like, that's not bad. But now it's just it's this, a little hot. Like, this balmy Yeah, it's pretty warm. It's air, like, and we're in this little hot box. It's like a, it's like palm tree in here. Yeah, I'm not liking it. I'm getting no. a little clammy. We're both, we both are susceptible to being sweaty. Yeah, sweat box. All the time. And I'm drinking a, a hot beverage. Yeah, hot beverages and hot dudes with hot sweat. Yeah, and uh, uh, it's just, it's not pleasant, Matchbox. Yeah, I can't control it, though. Like, I don't like, control the heat. I, I understand that you want this room to get some air. But we have the door closed. And the door is closed, that's true. So we that's probably, probably why. The door. And I don't know why we have the door closed, because... You closed the door. I did, and I don't know why. <laughs> I think for some, like, Mental consideration block. for other people. But the whole ceiling is open. But the ceiling's open, so <laughs> everyone can hear us anyway. We're being loud. You're in first, look at that. I know. I, I'm trying very hard. Are you going to win this one? <laughs> Probably. Ooh, I hope you win this one. I then, do. Then you'll, you'll, you'll just you'll beat the game and you won't have to play anymore. I know, I won't have to play and we'll just focus on your stuff. Is that what'll happen? I don't know. If you get to Glorps? Glorps. That's what <laughs> someone who commented on one of our videos said, get to Glorps. Glorps. Get to that Glorps thing. <laughs> was it called Glorps in the last one? The No, it's Glorps. Not, with the next uh, that was one of our friends who Did couldn't you see understand. how smooth I drove into that yeah, thing? Yeah, it was like, I'm like, it's watch, I'm, I'm watching me right now. Ah, uh, except I ran into that, that. Yeah, that was bad. And you're probably going to fall down. Into the under roads. The under under roads. You did it. You fell right down. Oh! But you saved it. Oh no. You're still good. You're yeah, good. I, I'm, I did good driving. Yeah, you're doing it. How many times did you do this before settling on this recording? This is the first time. <laughs> it's the first take? Yeah, it's the first Shoot. take. But I don't know Shoot. how the hell I got in second place all of a sudden. Uh, see that guy on the map? He's what below a, you. What a donk is. He just took a slightly different route. But if you stay up here, you will pass him. Because the way he's going is slower eventually. But you're running into some stuff. Yeah, I certainly see, he's, do. See how close you are on the map? Oh, the map. Yeah. <laughs> You should probably pay attention to that. Well, it's hard to pay attention to the map when you're driving because you want to look out for all these obstacles. But it's but yeah. good to review and post. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, no. No, this is where it all you're goes You're donking it up. Really donking it hard. Oh, no. Yeah. And I'm like, eh, yeah, right here. <laughs> right in the hole. No, I just I <laughs> completely... <laughs> Oh no. I'm frustrated. Oh no. <clears throat> yeah, I, I can't seem to. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you're playing golf and uh, you're like, all I got to do is uh, chip it on the green, and then you chip it to one side of the green, and yeah. then the other side of the green, and then the other side of the green. <laughs> and you chip it all the, way, all the way back to the start point. Wait, where are you going now? Uh, yeah, exactly. Goodness. Yeah. For, somehow me. I'm still in fourth, though. Who, who knows how that happened? Uh, those, those last two people are just crawling around up there. So the funny thing is, when we first started playing this game is when I was a kid, we didn't know you could, um, I guess, sprint or go faster. Oh, God, that, this race must have been impossible. Yeah, we didn't know about the shift key. <laughs> so we were just crawling around. Like, how are they going so fast? Oh, do we, we need no to get idea. a better car? Yeah, we had no idea. All right. Whoa, so, that was a fast video. Yeah, I got, I won, or at least I completed it, but I didn't win. So. Well, it's okay, because my video is extra long. It's ever long. It's, it's ever clear. You might 
Because of my father of mine. <laughs> father of mine. <laughs> oh, you, you are always accessing the Steam community. Yeah, I just have it on and I should turn off, but it's too late because these are already recorded. Yes. So I'm at B-Zone on the cross and I'm taking some Toxic up to Zifa. Yep. Show off. Toxic and Papankas are like the Nimbos and Flagma of Necross. The Nymphos. Just the, ooh. Yeah, Toxic Nymphos. Oh man, all the colors of the rainbow in cars are here right now. Mm -hmm. Is there any other color that you can get? Yes, you can get yellow. Yellow? Yellow is the color of car that you get when you deliver all three larvae to an S cave, uh, to a world. You started that like you were writing a paper. Yeah. <laughs> So if you deliver all three larvae to, say, Leapkey, all, gr all three green larvae, uh -huh. basically the Elite Pods go away. They, they're they done? They're gone. They die? When you go to their S caves, they're not there anymore. Um, there's some message, I forget what it says, um, and all the items in the stores are free, and any car you buy from them is yellow. Is it, are they dead? Did they die? Mm, I don't know. It's kind of unclear on that. They want it. That's kind of their, what they're doing to themselves. But I think you learn that it's sort of a, they're destroying themselves by doing it, and I'm not really sure why or how. Okay. That's a, a gray area, because that's how you win the game for the bad guy, uh, is by delivering all the larvae to all the worlds. And it's harder, I think, maybe. Um, maybe it's not harder, but it's more inconvenient. Because you gotta get those bloobs out of there. If those dudes go away, there's a lot of things that you, if you haven't done them already, you can't do anymore because they're gone. Sure. Have you, so I, this is unrelated, but I've been watching a lot of videos on it. Have you heard of a game called Fri Five, Night at Five Nights at Freddy's? No. It is a independently developed game that apparently got a lot of hype because a lot of Let's Players played it. Okay. But it's a survival horror point-and-click adventure game mm. where you are in this, like, pizza kind of Chuck E. Cheese type establishment. Pizza. and uh, So it's like that one level of Wayne's World where you're really small. In a, in a donut shop? No, because this is a point-and-click adventure horror game, and Wayne's World is not. <laughs> Dude, that game's hard, though. It is very difficult. We should do that one. But, <laughs> so, you are a night security manager, and all, the, right. and a, all the creepy-ass animatronic things, animals, are going to kill you. Hmm. And so you have to figure out why. And uh, I haven't played them, but I've been watching a bunch of videos on the story. It is super, super depressing. They're, like, possessed by dead children who got killed by Whoa. probably your manager, uh, who is the guy on the phone. And it's super sad. Whoa. And, like, when you die, like, you play these little, like, 8-bit minigames that are, like, save the children. And then it says save them, save them. And then it's, like, you can't. It's, like, all of the most sad Yikes. things ever. Wow. But, uh, yeah, it seems pretty scary. It's all jump scares. Like, they come out of the screen. And, oh, okay. But, like, all the, the animatronic characters, like, you can see their like inner fear. skeleton, like, over and their it's a suits. Kid. Uh, no. But they're trying to kill you. Hmm. It seems super sad. Yeah. But it's interesting. I don't know how I got onto that, but. It's kind of like the binding of Isaac. Yeah, like, sad. All right, so I'm. Oh, this is why this video is so long. I'm doing the ritual race on the cross right now. Mm hmm. So it's like the election. Mm -hmm. um, basically, but she doesn't give you the thing. She gives, she might, she gives one person the thing. And then however many people there are in the race have to fight over it. And whoever delivers it to B-Zone gets the win. That's so. my favorite new pizza. pizza B-Zone? The B-Zone. Yeah, I love B-Zones. <laughs> but I think what I'm doing is just going down to B-Zone since there's only one entrance. And I'm just going to wait. And any dudes who show up that have a red flashy dot on my map, I'm going to shoot them until they die. And then... Yeah, it's because you got that big spike beard. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tickle them with my spike here. <laughs> and then whenever the thing I want pops out of one of those dudes, I'm going to pick it up and win. You're going to hit the win button? And then I get the key to explode. Ooh, and that's like almost like explode. I'm going to explode. <laughs> Man, I was going to say that joke. You <laughs> Too said it me. late. I have a blueberry seed in my teeth. That's cool. It hurts. Hurts? Hurts real bad. You want a hurts donut? <laughs> hurts donut. Hurts donut. Like, you want some Hawaiian punch? Punch! Did you... So you had brothers. I didn't have brothers. Did I you did. guys do that crap all the time to each other? Yeah, but... We mostly just hit each other anyway. Without the joke. 
We did a lot of that. We did a lot of WrestleMania in the living room. Yeah. And it would start out kind of fun, but then we'd get really mad at each other about it. <laughs> or, like, we would, since there were three of us, it was usually two against one. And it, so, and, or I'd get really mad at, at my older brother and walk into his room and just dump all his books off his bookshelf <laughs> like a jackass. <laughs> I'd just go in and wreck his room up. And then, of course, I would get in trouble, but it was just like, man, I was a jerk when I was a kid sometimes. But they did that stuff to you, too, or was it just yeah, you being no, a jackass? Yeah, they, no, they did. Um, I remember one time, my little brother broke the globe on an outside light. I okay. forget how. He was, like, throwing gravel at it or something, mm-hmm. and he broke it. As you do. <laughs> like you do, you know, throw <laughs> gravel. And, you know, my mom was trying to figure out who did it, and I was like, well, it wasn't me. I didn't even know it happened. Like, I was just getting yelled at. And he didn't, he said it wasn't him. And, but anyway, um, we, were, we were all getting in trouble. And eventually I was just like, okay, it was me. Like I, why? Because I, I wanted, because she was going to ground us all for so long. And I was like, I did it. I did it. So I got beat, you know, like with the wooden spoon. Yeah. Did your mom do a wooden spoon? No, I didn't do the wooden spoon. My mom hit us with wooden spoons on our butts. So I, I, did, I got that over with. And then at dinner, like, my little brother was like, it was me. And she was like, oh, don't do that again. And that was it. And I was like, are you kidding? Beat him up. Uh, beat him up. Your mom's going to beat the crap out of your brother. Anyway, I remember that. She doesn't remember that. She's like, that didn't happen. Like, oh, yes, it did. Oh. It, sibling disparity. It happened. All the time. Yeah, I had a sister, but, you know, she was always... She was treated a lot more lenient because she was the younger uh-huh. uh, sibling, and I was the older one. So mm. if I if something happened, it was like... Yeah, you were a bad influence. It's, yeah. like, <laughs> it's your fault. Probably not my fault. Thank it's your you, fault though. Anyway. So I'm pretty sure I, I blow a ton of people up, and I I can't find this thing. Is that why this video is so segmented? Probably. I don't. I, I forget why. But I, I think I eventually just look in my bay, and it's there. Like I I accidentally picked it up when I when I killed somebody or something, and I didn't realize. Oh, maybe it's because. It, oh, it's see, chugging. It, yeah, it starts, and I was like, "There's no way I'm reloading this." Because, you know, I that got that happened this far. to me, if you remember. Yeah. So, uh, if creators of Steam Port are seeing this, this happens occasionally. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why either. I think it was something to do with Fraps, actually, because I think that's why I kept I kept stopping Fraps and reloading it. And it. I don't know if it's Fraps. It was happening before and after yeah. Fraps. I don't remember what I do to make it stop. But look how it's like unbearable. I know it's like two frames a second. I there we go. Uh, so I I don't remember what I do to to get out of this. But I think you just restart it later. I think I really wanted to finish this race thing. So it's always a race thing with you. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. Making the jokes. Making all the jokes. That's oh, so bad. <laughs> Oh. Oh, somehow it fixed itself. Yeah, see, it's the next video started. So I stopped Fraps and I started Apparently Fraps, again. Fraps was doing it. Yeah. Weird. But um, it was like immediate. One of my guns well, it's because I start I stopped it. Yeah. And I restarted it. Maybe I paused the game or something, I don't remember. But one of my guns is out of ammo. Which is bad news. Do you have to go into the water? Oh no it's not. That was weird. It's back. No, this you have to get a, go to a gorb station for the gorb gear. Which is the plasma guns? You have to go to a certain station, and get, there is get not the one of those stations on the cross. Apparently, you had another hiccup with fraps because it just yeah. Weird. And that was that thirty second video. <laughs> I don't know why. So I, I'm, I didn't find this thing, and I'm going around to look for it. I know there are four people left in the race. I think that's what that means. One out of four. Yeah, I think you're right. But I can't find. There's one up there, and I shoot him, and he didn't have it or something. And so I, I think I have it right now. I just, I don't. You just didn't even know. I don't realize. Yeah. This guy's a doof. Yeah. Man, he takes a ton of hits though. It's one of them big trucks. <laughs> the paddy wagon. That is a heavy lady. That's what that necklace is called. The heavy lady. Heavy lady. It's got a lot of spikes. It's one of two in the game that can hold a con larver. Oh, the con larva. Right, those are the things that you trap larva with. Yes. My car can't hold one, even though it's got the most firepower. Man, there's beebs on, like, every world. It seems like they... Common currency. <laughs> they are the winners of bangers because they're the they multiply everywhere. 
And at this point, I think I'm freaking out a lot because... Because <laughs> you don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. The cycle's going to change. I'm going to have to do this all over again. Super frustrated because of all that screen cap, like, frame rate stuff. Um, and, uh, and that guy just went in. Like, he's going in, and I'm freaking out about it. And I, I think What's on the ground by the... The, the thing that's pulsating. Which one? The thing that just fell in as cave. Is it yellow or blue? Oh, I, the gray one is the yeah. vector. Okay. This lets you aim at people. So, I, I don't know what to do. At some point soon, I'm going to open my bay and see it. But I don't know why I'm not doing it right now. Yeah, man. Because I'm a dirt. And you only have 65 luck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think in this uh, save I ever get to 100. Wow. You don't really need it, you just need 50 to see. I thought you were good at this yeah. game. Oh, you need 50 to open up the special hideouts. But anyway, there, I'm gonna kill this guy. He's the last guy remaining. That's not me. And... Oh, my gun's ran out of ammo. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is, see the little dude? Right yeah, there? I see it. He's in my bay. And I, I didn't even see it. I just... I was Did you just... even realize it right now? No! I'm still trying to kill <laughs> that guy. With my one working gun that I picked up from somebody, and I'm going so far away from the S cave, I don't know how I pull this off because it's in there. Did you ever play? So you need 50 luck to get into something. Yeah, to get into some of the special. Did, did you ever play uh, Mario 64? Um, no, probably not. It was like the biggest troll. You had to collect stars in the game to continue, and you had to collect, I think, 70. Or oh. something like that. You could get through with 60, and then you had to get 70. But when you had to go up the staircase to get to the final Bowser level okay. to fight Bowser to beat the game. And it's like, oh, sure, we'll let you through this door. You have, like, 60 stars or whatever. And then you'd go up the staircase. But if you didn't have, I think, 70, you'd keep running up. Like, the stairs would oh, never really? end. It was, like, the trollinest thing ever. That's funny. So you, then you had to go back. And, <laughs> and then you had to go back. And as soon, if you got that many stars, then you could go up the stairs. <laughs> but it would just continue the loop of the stairs. Oh, that's awesome. And then you look behind you and like, I didn't make any progress up these stairs. How long did some people, people do that for? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I noticed it probably about 10 seconds. I wasn't up the stairs yeah. yet. And it was like, there's a lot of stairs. So I noticed it was in there, I think, finally. Because I'm going back. Um, but the problem is I've got some toxic in my bay. You can't have that. And he, I buy it from him, and he's going to get mad at me. He's like, yeah, you're an idiot. What are you doing with that toxic? Ah, you stupid. Ugh, get out of here. Poo. He barfs on you. I know. So i got to get rid of this toxic stuff. Freaking out. The cycle's going to change. But I only throw one out. There's like three in my bay. What am I doing? <laughs> is he going to puke on you again? Oh, no. Maybe I did throw them all out. So he's giving me the key to Explo. Ooh. Man, you are so many keys ahead of me. But I'm going to catch up. It's all right. Oh, no, they were, they were Papankas. Okay, it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good, bruh. 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 Bree, bruh. So where's the key? Oh, it's just... It's like I can go to that world now. Oh, uh, Okay. And, and that, that's the end. That's of the end. The so, end. on the next video, we go to Explo. Next time. On the next time.